Hello everyone, it's Amy and welcome back for week nine of budget crafting. And today we are going to make magnetic bookmarks. You can use them in your journals, but you can also use them in your Bible, in the book you're reading, in you know, any your cookbook or whatever you want to use them in. They're just a bookmark. Um, but they stay in place. So this is just a little one I made a long time ago. I think it was in the Build Your Stash series series. And so this one is just hand drawn and they're folded in half to go over the top of the page and then they just magnet magnet together um, so that they stay on your page right there and so they're so simple to do and we're just going to make a few so and also just kind of go through some fun things that you can use to make them these are cards um they're from a game oh see i have no idea what that is but they have some cute sayings on them Oh, they have some not so cute things too, but I picked a couple I liked. And this one says, they can't censor the gleam in my eye. And I really like that. And I'm thinking maybe these are quotes or something from people. Um, and then the other one is, rule number one is don't sweat the small stuff. Rule number two is, it's all small stuff. So I thought that those were both really cute and I want to use those. So you can decide what you want to do. They have little numbers on the bottom. And maybe I don't want those numbers on there. So I think I will just cut them off. I'm going to grab my trimmer because uh, I can't cut anything straight. So I'm just going to hold them up there. Let me just chop that off. Okay. So now they're fun. They've got a fun saying on them and everything, but I think that, you know, they're very square. So I'm going to round the corners, but before I do that, I think I will go ahead and tape them together. And so I'm just going to, because I had a pink strip at the top, I figured I would pick some pink washi tape. And it would have been better if I had a wider one, but I didn't. So I'm going to use the one I have. It's gonna, oops, rolled away from me. Just cut that. I'll lay it down. Oh, come on, get off me. I'll get my glue stick. I'm gonna come way up here and just put a little bit of glue on it. There we go, now we know it'll stick. And then their hearts. So on one side, they're going to be right side up, and the other side, they're going to be upside down, and that's not a big deal. I'm just going to line this up. There's actually lines on these cards, so I can kind of line it up straight, I think. Let's put that right on there. Like that, and then put the other one right up to it. Now you don't have to, the only reason I'm taping this together is because, um, and I'm going to bring this right around the edge because I'm going to tape the inside also, so that when I fold it over, if I weren't to do that, and I were to cut those off and not put anything on the inside, when you fold it over and stick it over your book, it could possibly stick in that gap since it's washi tape. So I'm going to just fold it over and I will put another piece across to cover up that gap and cover up that tape that's there. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what I was just saying. So, there we go. Cut that off. Let me get it quite short enough, so I'm going to cut it a little bit before I push it down. And now it's crooked, which is the whole reason I cut the cards with the cutter. There we go. Okay, so now that makes it, so basically it's one piece of paper because you can do it yourself and just do one piece of paper, draw something, and then put the top of it at the fold of a piece of paper. We'll do that in just a second. Okay, so we've got this done now, and I thought maybe we would round the corners. It might be a little bit too thick, but we'll find out. Ooh. Kind of 
kind of didn't like it, but it did it. Just to kind of, you know, just decorating them up to give them a little finishing touch. If you don't have a corner rounder, you can just make your own by taking a piece of cardboard, any piece of cardboard, and then I'm going to start from scratch. So you've got a piece of cardboard. All you need to do is just round a corner until it looks like what you like. And then you can just take it and put it up against whatever you want to cut the corner on. You just put it right up there, line it up side and top. And then just, you can either draw around it or just cut around it, just like that. Now to do the other side, what you're going to do is you're just going to flip it over. And then go ahead and do it like that. So then you've got your rounded corners. So you can do your own rounded corners, even if you don't have a corner rounder. So there we go. That looks cute. And then maybe I've got a little bit of this is Victorian Velvet Distress Ink. And as always, you don't have to have Distress Inks to do these things. But I'm just going to put a little color around the edges. If you wanted, you could stencil on it. This would be really cute, stenciled on. And especially this side that's a little bit even blanker. It would look really cute with a stencil. I didn't bring a stencil out. I'm trying to do all of my videos um, in one take so that I can upload them straight from my phone. I'm going to just make a quick little stencil. Maybe we'll see how it turns out. Um, and I'm just cutting this like a snowflake. I do have a video on how to make stencils that we did just shortly ago. So you can go back and see that if you want to see exactly how to do this. You just have to make sure that you cut on the folds and only on the folds. And don't cut the folds off completely. Let's see what we've got. Let's see if we've got any good portions. Oh yeah, look at that center portion. Really like that. So I'm going to put that right there. And once you start making your own little stencils like this, and these are basically just disposable stencils, um, because it's just made out of paper but they also can be used to make tags or, yeah, that's cute. It needed a little something. So see how quickly we can just, if you don't have a stencil, I didn't have one with me and I didn't want to go away and have to like make two parts and then edit my video to stick it together. I think that's what I was saying. Do I want a little something there? No, I don't. Do I want maybe this there? Yeah, let's do it going towards the outside. The others all face the middle. I need just a little bit more. There. That's cute. And let's put one across the top here. And then all we're going to do is we're going to put a magnet on it. But yeah, if you don't have things, you can always make your own with almost everything. In the Build Your Stash series, you know, I had people that asked for certain things and, you know, I would try and make them. The only thing I got stumped on was I could not make a scoreboard um, with lines an eighth of an inch apart that were perfectly straight. And there we go. Now that's really cute. Um, that was the one thing that I just could not do. So let's grab, this is just plain old craft magnet that you get at Joann's or anywhere in the, even in the kids department. And um, you can punch this magnet, but um, once you punch it, I don't stick it to the other magnets. It's not magnetized to there. 
I took the sticky stuff off the back and stuck it on there. I don't know why, but um, yeah, that's not a good idea. I thought I'd just tell you that. You probably already knew that. Let's just use some of what we've got right here. And they're gonna be inside your thing so they don't have to be perfect. Okay, now I wanna slide this this way so that they're even, and it doesn't wanna do that. It wants to grab right there. So put it together and make it grab. Don't glue it on there and then try and make it grab because, you know, magnets have their polarity and um, they want to grab where they want to grab. So these do have sticky on them. If it feels really sticky, you can trust the sticky if you want to, or you can put just a tiny dot of glue on it. Use the sticky to hold it while the glue is drying, and then when the glue dries, that'll just make it, whoops, a little extra. So I'm just going to put that right there, stick it down, and keep them together where you know that they will stick to each other or connect with each other. Take the sticky part off of there. Well, I can pick that up. Okay. Put it back on there. Make sure it's where it's going to connect. It likes itself right there. So we're going to put just a little dot of glue on there. And then stick that down. Now, the nice thing about having the sticky stuff is that it sticks right away. So you can give it a good press and it will stick well. But, you know, over time, you know, the sticky might dry up or, um, you know, just won't want to hold. So this way the glue will just help you. And there we go. Now we have. And the thing is, if it's something that you don't like the inside, I like the inside of this because it shows that it is game cards and what game it came from. Um, so, but if you don't like the inside, you can decorate that first before you put your magnets on. And then you just take your book. You just take a book, find a page, and open it up. Stick it right on that page, and it just connects together. There it is. It's on the page. It's not falling off. It's not coming out. If you're flipping through the book, it's not going to move or go anywhere. It's just there. So they're just really fun. And like I said, they work really good for all your different types of books. And then, you know, a few other little ways you can do them. Um, you can take, this is a journaling card. And so it's got lines on the back that you can write on if you want to. You can do it this way. This is four inches wide. And so I'm going to score it at two inches. Now, actually, when you score something, the part that you dent down, that is supposed to be the part that you put towards the outside. You've stretched those fibers. Therefore, they will bend easier this way. Um, it seems like because it's dented down, you should fold it that way. But I've just heard over the years, over and over, that you bend the dented part is for the outside. Just give that a press. And maybe we'll round the corners on this too. Some, you know, sometimes I just think that rounded corners just really finish things off. And if you want, you can round them here also. Um, and then they'll give you like a little, well, I'll show you what it looks like. Um, they give you a little kind of design there in the middle. So then when you open it up, it's got this little bit there, so which is kind of cute. Let's put just a tiny bit of edging on that. This is broken china. And you could put a word on here. This would look really nice with a word on it. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a terrible tickle. 
So we'll just get this on here. <clears throat> to attach that way. And you can do this one of two ways. You can put it right in the middle or you can put one at the top and one at the bottom. Put just a dot of glue. Whoops. <clears throat> in the middle. Gonna bring it out pretty close to the edge so there's still writing space. That would be maybe nicer to put them in the corners so that this was all open. Didn't think of that till just now so we've got one in the middle but it is what it is. You live and you learn and it's not broken. It will work just fine in the middle. <coughs> There we go. And then just close that up. So now this one. Give them a good press. <clears throat> this one you can just take and put in your book this way. And so it marks your page as you're looking at your book like this you know that right there is where you're at in your book and it's just something different so it's cute and that would work nice too on a journal coming over the edge of a page you could even maybe put a little dangle or something coming off the edge on your on your journal or you can even make them so that they can you can even stick them out further so that when you're looking it's like that like a tab like I have a tab here so you know you can do it like a tab or you can slide it all the way in and it's a bookmark and that these magnets hold pretty good so um you know they don't even slide around so we've got you know like this sow from the side we've got this one and you can also cover you know like cover this with regular paper for writing on the inside. If you, you know, I said if you don't want to see, you can just cover it so you can't see it. But you can also cover it and put some lines on it or not, um, you know, but just so that you can write in there and it will be in the book like this, but you've got your kind of little secret place there with your writing. And then you can just also, on the same line of this one, is just, if you have something like this, and you can write on the back. You can just do it right at the top. So let's just do, like, what do I do with my little thing? I know y'all are probably looking right at it. Seriously, what did, where, it can't go that far. Here it is, right there. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go about three quarters of an inch here. And that's supposed to be the one that folds outside. Problem with that is I want it to fold inside. So I'm going to fold it that way first and then fold it back this way. And give it a little press. Around these two bottom corners. And then I'm just going to put my magnet at the top. And your magnets don't have to even be a lot of times I go in and I like cut them the same size you really don't have to do that one's up here one's down here or one's on the front one's on the back nobody's gonna see them and even if they do they don't have to be perfect if you don't like the looks of your magnet you can even put a very light piece of paper over top of it um, you know you don't want any heavy paper because 
they are magnets. So if you put paper on both sides, that's two pieces of paper. And then you go to put it on a book, that's another piece of paper. That's a lot for the magnets to go through. So you just want to make sure that your magnet would be strong enough to do that. Let's give that a good press and open it up. And so what I was saying was you could cover this with a piece of paper. Let's see how this works. Okay, so if we were to cover this with a piece of paper and we were to cover this with a piece of paper, you know, glue it right to our magnet so that our magnet was covered up or maybe do something decorative like this and cover it all the way. Well, let's just do it. We'll see if it works. Okay, so we would cover this with a piece of paper so you can't see it. And of course, you'd want to decorate that piece of paper up a little bit, maybe. Oops. And they're on the inside, so you don't see them anyways, except when you open it up. Okay, so if you were to cover them both with a piece of paper... And of course, you wouldn't necessarily have to do that. You could just cover the magnet itself, or you could do something like that. But I would put glue all the way across. Okay, so now we've got this. you got magnet, but then you've got paper. And then you've got paper from your book. And then another piece of paper, and then the other magnet. So will the magnet be strong enough to grab... Um... It, it is grabbing, but just barely. So that's an awful lot. If you had a stronger magnet, they do make much stronger magnets. And if you had a stronger magnet, a lot of those they do cover up. If they're doing like projects that they want, you know, finished real well or something, um, they cover those magnets up. They're little tiny, I forget what they call them. So, you know, to me, I'm going to take this off because it's not going to want to work. And I'll just go in and decorate those little spots with something. Like I said, they're not going to show up anyway. So then you've got this one to go over the top of your page. And it only goes over that far. <coughs> <coughs> and like I said, then you could also just make your own. You don't have to have all that stuff. You just need a folded piece of paper. And you can do whatever you want to do. like that color it up just make sure you have the fold at the top put your magnet in the middle <coughs> excuse me so much for the coughing don't have anything to drink here either so um but yeah and you know it can just be any shape that you want you could do a heart and leave the leave the top bumps hooked together so that it would fit over your page but so there we go we have a side clip a top fold over a complete one like that and this is something that you can do with some of those fun game cards that you have you know you don't have to completely cover them up game cards are nice to make tags and stuff out of because you can cover them and they're nice and thick so you can cover them with a regular piece of paper and make a really nice journaling card or something uh, and it's nice and heavy but if you have a bunch of them that are cute that you can use them just the way you are especially depending on who you're making your journal for or the types of things that you like it might just be the perfect thing so um again we've got folded paper and then all of these different types just really cheap craft store magnets so it doesn't have to be anything special they really do hold well you can even just hear them clip. So there we go. Those are our little uh, clip over magnet bookmarks. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial today. Thank you very much for stopping by. I really do appreciate you. And I hope that you all have an outstanding day. There she is. I was looking for her. Thanks again. Bye-bye.